remember the first time you took a hit? You loved the feeling. It was the shit. I'm the one that you turn to when you need a fix. Baby, here's the sample. It's just a tip. Hold on. Don't don't record yet. It's just a tip. 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 Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Dakozy. Welcome to Footwork, where you're here for Canada's finest house CD release party. I really hope that what this CD will do for the music scene will just show people that Canada has and is rich with amazing, amazing production talent. I think we've been affecting the scene way before anybody even knew what Canada was. We have so many people that are being played internationally week in and week out. You have Dead Mouse, you know, who just pretty much raped the entire scene, you know, with five top ten tracks at once. You know, you have M1 who's just been producing consistently good music for a decade. You know, you have MC Flipside, George Tears, Joey and myself, as well as many others like Joey Cons, J Force, Takozi, Nick Fiorucci, who actually released the entire CD, so we owe him a huge thanks. So if he's watching, you know, we love you, Nick. We're on the top of the charts right now. Literally, Canada's on fire. Uh, per capita, I'd say that Canada is, is making noise worldwide, there's no question. Toronto's been doing absolutely nothing but beating the shit out of everyone in uh, the dance music world, and I think, uh, you know, a good compilation was due for... Uh, you know all these all these producers coming out of you know not just Toronto but Canada in general to uh, you know showcase it all into one little package and I think that was a good idea to do. I think Nick Frucci uh, did a great job with that. I mean the whole idea behind it and getting everybody together to put on one CD I think it was a great idea. He has the best of the best on his CD so whether it's a progressive song or a tech house song or a minimal track you need to have the people that you know are going to be playing and representing Canada properly. I think it sounds great. I mean, Dakozy is crazy on the turntables, so he's always like throwing unexpected things in, so it's a great mix. Yeah. My contribution to Canada's Finest House was, uh, was not only selecting the tracks for the CD, but also mixing and putting together and doing the programming for the CD. It was uh, quite a labor because we had over 40 tracks to select and pick from. But between me, me and Nick Fiorucci, we narrowed it down to 14, and I really feel confident in the way we all, that it all came together. On this CD, we have, you know, flip side, uh, Dekozy, who makes the CD, we have um, Hatiris, uh, Dead Mouse. All, all these people are making incredible noise, selling records worldwide, DJing worldwide. There's, a, there's kind of a coolness in the Canadian industry that's not necessarily there in the States. Take, for example, Beatport. There are many other sites that sell music, but on Beatport alone, in the last 14 months, maybe more, Canadian music has dominated the most downloaded songs on their site, and that's an international site, and predominantly Toronto-based. And I won't even get into names because it's not necessary, but people can do the homework themselves. The point I'm trying to make is, if we're dominating that site and we're doing well on other sites, such as Track It Down, which uh, myself and M1 had a number one on there. And then we have guys doing well on Beatport, whether it's Hatiris or Dead Mouse or, uh, you know, Adam K or M1 or, you know, or, or A Track. Then why not put a CD together with artists such as Martin Villeneuve or Gavo or, uh, you know, Joey Seminara, Danny Nagels, Addy? It only makes sense. Uh, we have tons of guys from Toronto coming out. I mean, let's not forget Max, Luke Fair, and you know, Richie Houghton, and all the rest of the guys from Canada are pushing it. I think this, this is going to totally put Canada on the map. Just a Tip is about that feeling when you first connect, imagine you're in the middle of the floor and your favorite DJ or producer is dropping a song, you've never heard it before, and you just start pumping your fist in the air. That's what it's about. Just a Tip is actually very lucky to be on Canada's Finest House. It's a very sexy song. It's got great vocals by MC Flipside. And as you know, Just a Tip was produced by Joey Seminara, 
and Danny Nagels myself. And it actually, we had the pleasure of hitting number one on Bport's electro chart, as well as number three overall. Uh, we definitely want to give a huge thanks to everyone who supported, from Deep Dish to Frederico Frankie, Christopher Just, Tommy Lee and DJ Aero dropping in at WMC in Miami it was amazing. And definitely Toka Disco, who charted it for his WMC chart. Definitely a huge track. I've had people email me in, on MySpace or Facebook or my personal account and ask me, well, my friends, like one email came from Saskatchewan actually, and I remember it vividly. Well, my friends and I were arguing in the car. What does just the tip mean? What, I believe that it, it deals with the sensation you feel from uh, extra ac extracurricular activities. And then my other friend said that it's the feeling about what you feel when you have sex. So I was like, really? That's a nice email to get first thing in the morning. Um, where it comes from actually has nothing to do with neither one of those things, but I knew when I wrote it that it could be interpreted as such, which I knew would help create buzz, uh, coincidentally. What Just a Tip means and where it came from was, I got this beat and Joey Seminar and Danny Nagels asked me to write a song and it had a really dark undertone to it. Like the bass line went boom 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 so I sat there and I do what I'm doing right now. I close my eyes and I connect. And I was like, okay. So sitting on my stool, having an espresso in the morning because I need that little jolt. And I remember I was like, okay, yeah, that feeling all over me. So I was like, yeah, not bad, not bad. It was sick. Boom, 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 dun, dun, dun. And I was like, nah, that's not it, that's not it, that's not it. That's not it. No, no, no. Gonna leave it alone. So I had my digital recorder out because I have a studio upstairs in my house with a full rig and a professional mic and um, I run Ableton as well as Cubase. Um, SX and um, with all my VSTs, etc., etc. So I was like, mm. and that's it's not it. So I let it go. The next day, same process. Wake up, have my coffee. Oh, that, that's a happy flow. That doesn't work. So then after I got back and I, you know, used my digital recorder, went back, listened up. It was the. I was like, oh wait a minute. What if I take this part, this part, and this part? put them together, speak a little bit less, leave a pocket so that the bass drives, and that's why I go, remember the first time you took a hit? Pause. It was the, and then, so it, people can catch it when they're dancing, because I always think if I was dancing, I, w I don't want a vocal that's intrusive, because that's annoying when you're trying to catch a beat and there's a bad vocal. So. I let it breathe and then I went back and I closed my eyes. Dun, dun, dun. Remember the first time you took a hit? You love the feeling. It was the shit. And then I was like, that's it. So I called Joey Seminara. I played it over the phone and he just, he was at work. He's a computer networking guy during the day. And he completely lost his mind. He was like, that's incredible. Then I called Carlo, let him hear it. Called M1 because I trust his opinion. And he's like, wow. The delivery is there, the darkness is there, it can be interpreted in different ways, and that was it. A lot of people told us that Just a Tip would kind of be our breakout hit, and we were kind of like, yeah, yeah, whatever, and then, you know, when it really started to sell, and you know, you go on this website, Bport, they use every day, and you see your name, like the top three, you know, with huge producers, you know, like Sebastian Legere and such, you know, just, you're immensely proud, because we would do this even if we didn't have a number one, but it, it definitely pushes you to work harder. You know, keep making music people love.